realize I might be late making this video because so many of you have already started school but we're doing low waste back to school hello again hello again welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm making some garden videos, some low waste videos, some vegan videos, some family videos, some yoga videos, some pole videos, some everything videos. Um, making a lot of videos. <laughs> Subscribe. This one is going to be low waste back to school supplies. <clears throat> Even though so many of you have probably already started school, I know lots of you, lazies, have not gotten school supplies yet because that's the way it's always been since the beginning of school time. I used to know people in my classes that would not get school supplies until the last month of class and it's like, if you're one of these people that haven't bought anything yet, congratulations, I'm gonna tell you what to buy. There are plenty of ways to be more eco-friendly with your school supplies. I would say that there are eco-friendly versions of everything you need to get for school. Um, unless you need some weird stuff for school, I, I don't know. Here are some things I would avoid buying for your classes. I almost got a mosquito bite, so I'm just gonna spray now. I don't have, I can't, my bug candles are not handy. And this is going to be very convenient, okay? Um, I'm gonna link everything down below. And a lot of these will end up saving you money, either right away or in the long run. Do not buy single-use plastic pens and pencils. Those mechanical ones, you don't need them. They're not biodegradable. They're gonna take forever. Um, just go ahead and get a regular pencil. Get refillable pens. Because I agree, I can't, I'm not good with writing in pencil, but if you can get refillable pens, that will be great too. Preferably made from sustainable materials. Thing number two, do not buy plastic backpacks and pencil pouches. Like, no? Like, you can get all that stuff easily made out of more sustainable materials, and a lot of that is very trendy anyways, so it'll look good. You'll look great. Those natural fibers, though. I'm sorry about the lighting, uh, but I, I, I want to finish this, so. Do not buy plastic folders and binders. More, it's, it's the plastic again. You know, you're only in school for so long, you, you don't need it to last millions of years. Go for recycled and natural fiber sorts of binders and folders. Linked below. Don't buy a new calculator and textbooks. Rent them. Borrow them. Share them. If you don't have to buy it brand new, you're definitely going to save money and you're not contributing to them making more you're not you're not contributing to the demand so you're it will be less calculators refurbished pre-owned calculators are just as good man rent when possible any other miscellaneous school supplies that i may have not mentioned can be found in more eco-conscious forms you really just have to remember to search for them and that's tip number five is just if you can remember to try to look for a better option, you will already be doing so much. Uh, you will already be taking the right steps, okay? It's getting too dark. I know it's dark. <laughs> mm, my laptop is my light. So, have a good school year. Well, do study. Don't, don't forget to do your homework. Um, share your textbooks with your friends. I can subscribe. Finished it. Okay, bye.